Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Last week in our Airbnb, it is so windy outside. We had the doors open, but it is such a windy day today in LA. So we just closed the doors. But I wanted to give you guys a moving update. So we have to move out of this Airbnb in about a week. And we have been looking constantly for rentals. We've also been looking kind of to buy, obviously, but we just don't know if we want to buy right now because of how competitive and crazy the market is so we're kind of holding off a little bit but we want to find somewhere to rent like not for a full year just for like a shorter term we found this place that was available for a six month lease and we also wanted to find a place that was like kind of already furnished so that we don't have to like get all our stuff out of storage just for six months but it's hard to find a place that's like I don't know. You're not ever going to find the perfect place, you know, that's like styled exactly how you want it in the price range you want and everything. And so this place though, we were like, this is the best option we've definitely found, but it had been on the market for like a little while. So we're like, are we too late? We went to go look at it today and we both feel really, really good about it. And Leif was saying like, this is the most comfortable, weren't you saying it's the most comfortable you've felt like getting a place? So we haven't even applied yeah. for it yet. All we've done is go tour it, but most of the time when we tour places to rent, it's like so up in the air. Like you just have absolutely no idea if you're gonna get it. There's like a lot of other people looking at it, so you just don't know. But weirdly, we just both feel so calm and like peaceful about it. We haven't felt that way really about like any place we've moved into. We're always just kind of like, hope it works, like hope we get picked. And, you know, we've been turned down for places in the past or we've gotten certain places, but yeah, I don't know. We just both feel good about it. We like prayed last night. We're like, just help us to know like what is the right move for us right now. And I feel like that's kind of just like an answer to our prayers is just like feeling really calm and like confident about it. And so we have not even applied. So that's why I'm kind of like jumping the gun right now, even telling you guys all this, but we're going to apply today and then we should know in the next few days if we're going to get it. So definitely in this vlog, I'll like keep you guys updated. I just wanted to take you through the process. If we don't get it, obviously it's not meant to be, um, but I do just feel so good. So I feel like I would be surprised if we didn't, but it's so bright and like pretty. I think it will be so much better for both of our mental health being in a bright lit space. It's also in a really convenient location as far as like being close to Chelsea and Beth. We'll keep you updated. Leif, Leif, Leif. On the what? phone, Please. huh? We were just talking about phone addiction. Last night we went to dinner with Nick and Chelsea and we were like, we all need to stop being on our phone. I was telling you guys about that book in my last vlog. We're trying to be on our phone less and instead, Watch TV, watch Survivor. That's honestly better for my mental health though. Watching a show sometimes, depends on the show. Good morning guys. I just woke up really not that long ago. This is one of my first times speaking. So sorry if my voice sounds a little froggy. Exciting news, we got the house. I am so relieved. I cannot even tell you how relieved I am. Obviously as you guys saw in that clip, like I just felt like it was gonna happen and it just happened and I just we just knew it felt so good and right that it was going to happen so we found our next place we're going to live for the next at least half a year which is a long time so I'll give you all the details we'll give you a tour of it we're moving in less than a week now but I'm just so I don't know what other word to use besides really relieved because we've just been like knowing that it's all gonna work out but it doesn't take away from a little bit of the stress when you're a week away from moving and you have no idea where you're gonna live. So I'm just so relieved. It's so perfect. It's such a great location. It'll be so convenient and it happened so fast. We, the day that we went and like applied for it, that night he was like, yeah, you guys got it. Like we want you to live here. So it was a super fast turnaround. I'm just so happy. Now, as far as sad things go, Kristen and Marcus are moving. This is their last day today, and we've just been hanging out with them and packing with them. It's just a, a huge bummer. They're, you know, some of our best friends in LA, and we see them all the time, and it's just gonna be really sad, but also we know that we're gonna go visit them in Nashville, and like, they'll come to California still sometimes. It'll be all good, it's just, Another hard transition in life. Um, anyway, we've been helping them pack and stuff, and today's our last day, so I think we'll go over there um, later today. But Kristen did give me some of her plants. I'll show you guys later in this vlog. I have one of them right here. It's just 
a little cactus baby. I pray that I can keep these alive. I really do. I feel like because they're Kristen's, I'm more, I'm like, I need to be even more careful. Chelsea got some of her plants too and we were both saying the same thing. We're like, we feel like it's a part of her like heart and soul. So we really want to try and not kill them because neither of us have been good plant parents in the past. This cactus should be pretty easy because it's just a little cactus. You don't have to water it too much. I think it's been a roller coaster of a week because we got the house and then they're moving so it's like lots of emotions I feel like this whole year honestly it's so interesting we just we were just talking about this on our podcast like 2021 it's like a new year a fresh start but because 2020 was such a crazy year it's almost like we were in survival mode for all of 2020 and then for us we started off 2021 having to move unexpectedly our friends moving like all these other changes that we were in survival mode and we were finally ready to be like, oh, it's a new year, and then all of this happened, so we're like trying to still be kind of in survival mode, and it's just like mentally been very all over the place. Like I really feel that I've had a roller coaster of emotions, which I'm not used to having because I feel like I'm usually pretty steady with my emotions. There's just a lot going on in my mind, but overall things are good, life is good, I'm grateful for everything that's happening right now, I know it's all meant to be, so it's all good. This is literally what I slept in last night, so I'm gonna go put on a little like sweatshirt and maybe some workout clothes or something. I'm making some bagels for breakfast, I was gonna do an avocado bagel, um, and like this almond butter banana bagel that I've been making lately, but my bananas are not ripe and neither are my avocados, so I have to just work with something else. This is homemade peach jam that my mom made, and she gave it to us a while ago. So I'm just doing butter and jam on one of these bagels. Oh, amazing. I'm doing almond butter and some, just got almond butter on my sweatshirt. By the way, I always get almond butter with the ingredients just being almonds. A lot of almond butter has like sh cane sugar and like different oils, but honestly, I prefer when it's like minimal ingredients for taste wise as well. Because, I don't know, I just feel like it tastes better. I honestly feel that way with, like, peanut butter as well. I know a lot of people don't like natural peanut butter, but I prefer it. Like, I actually prefer the taste. So this just says, the ingredients, dry roasted almonds. I get this from, this is from Costco. Or wait, this is from Whole Foods. I thought this was from Costco. I'm going to do some blueberries, some hemp seeds, and some cacao nibs. Bone apple teeth. Let's taste tester. Delicious. What's up, what's up? We just went to Chacha Matcha and I got the chai matcha this time, which I was trying to get last time, but they were out of it. So here's what it looks like. Very beautiful, I need to mix it up. So it's the next day. Um, we said goodbye to Kristen and Marcus last night. And I didn't want to vlog. I was just, well, honestly, it wasn't a conscious decision. Like, I forgot when I was actually there. And I wanted to just spend time with them for their last day. We did take a few photos. Yeah, we said goodbye to them, and it was sad. But also, we know that we'll see them again soon. We'll visit them, and it'll all work out. It's just kind of sad to, like, see this chapter come to a close more than anything. Marcus left his jacket in our car, so... We gotta we go to Nashville. To see him again. I laughed the hardest I've laughed in a long time. Last night, it was a really, really good night. So it was a, a great send off and starting the morning off fresh. I got ready this morning, got ready earlier than I normally do, which felt really good, honestly. I usually wait like until, I don't know, I feel like I wait until midday usually to like do my makeup and hair. And then it feels like almost a waste because then it's like, well, I'm gonna wash off my makeup in like five hours now you know so I got ready a little earlier and got like actually dressed because also I was saying to Beth she always comes over to my house Chelsea always comes over when to work we always work from my house and so I feel like I never really get ready because it's like I never have to leave anywhere like even if I'm going to grab a drink I'm like I can just wear sweats like I don't need to get ready and so I'm trying to get ready a little bit more just because it makes me feel like a little bit more productive and I don't know I'm just constantly wearing sweats so I'm trying to, you know, switch it up a little bit for my own, like, sake. Okay, let's give it a taste test. Ooh, that's good. I really like this one, the chai matcha. Does it taste very honey-ish? No. Oh. It's 
really good. Delicious. If you guys are ever in LA, if you like matcha or chai or fun drinks, you should go to Chacha Matcha. Check out Chacha Matcha. It's so cute. Wow, cute. Back home, back in my dungeon, making some pasta and being very transparent with you, I did get done with a crying session not too long ago, so my makeup might be smeared. You know, we all have bad days. I'm making some pasta, and here's a little tip that Beth taught me. Wait, is this spinach? This is so huge. What the heck? Baby spinach? It's massive. You add greens to your pasta the last like minute that it's cooking. Just throw a bunch of spinach. I just dropped some on the floor into your pasta. I just throw handfuls of spinach and it's such an easy way because it just kind of like wilts when it gets warm. It's such an easy way to get your greens in and you don't have to like cook a whole other like vegetable dish to have with your pasta. I'll just do that and then throw some red sauce on it and it's delicious. This is the next step that's very important is this tomato basil sauce. It is literally the best red sauce ever, I promise you. Just pouring this in. Also, this is another thing. I feel like a lot of people like heat the sauce up on its own, which is probably smart, but honestly, I feel like the pasta is so warm that it's like, not 100% necessary, especially if you just want to get it done fast. You can just pour the sauce right in. As long as it's not refrigerated, then it might be a little too cold, but this was just in my cabinet, so. I like it saucy. We're gonna do some salt, some pepper. We have nutritional yeast and chili flakes. Here she is, some yummy lunch. Just recorded a podcast. Oh, gotcha, cool. Chelsea's brother's in town. We're eating some food. We're eating New Moo vegan burgers, fries. We got some, uh, what was the sauce I got again that I liked? Yeah. The garlic aioli is so good. And I also got an Oreo shake. Never tried their Oreo shake. Their blue magic one is super good though, but I wanted to try something different. Just recorded next week's podcast episode and we read all of your unpopular opinions and reacted to them. So stay tuned for that one. It was so good. Look at these palm tree lined streets never gets old. I literally take my phone out or my camera out every time there's like streets like this because I just think it's so pretty. Do you get sick of me not getting sick of it? No. You but, have to think about it? Awesome. But every, pretty much every street is palm tree lined. No, it's not. So you're like this. No, it is not true. I was saying it's not like it's rare, but like to have both sides have palm trees, that is a little bit more rare, you gotta admit. We are going to the beach right now for sunset, our little tradition. I've been wearing this green hat so much lately. I feel like hats are just such a good way. You know, if your hair starts getting greasy, throw a hat on. It solves everything. My hair is actually not even that greasy right now, but I just thought it looked cute with my green outfit. I'm bringing this in case I get cold on the beach. Leif is bringing this in case he gets thirsty on the beach. We've been packing up our stuff. Beth helps me pack up some stuff that I won't need for the next couple days just to like get the ball rolling since we're moving. Again, obviously out of our Airbnb in at this point like two or three days. So we've been busy doing that. I wanted to show you guys my new phone case, by the way. It's from Wildflower Cases. I just went on their site because I feel like I've seen a bunch of people tag them for just like cute, fun cases with some fun designs. So I got this one and someone told me that it's the one that Matilda Jerf has. I don't know if I'm saying her name correctly. And I was like, wow, I must have good taste then because she is my queen, but I haven't seen her post this yet. So I don't know if I just missed her post, but I thought it was so cute. Welcome to our new home. This week just got really crazy. And we basically found out that we were gonna move or like found the house, applied for it and found out we got it within actually the same like two days. Like we, the day we applied for it is the day we got it. And it all has just been a whirlwind. And so yeah, I'm ending up just ending the vlog in the new house. I'm definitely gonna do a whole little house tour for you guys, take you through just every room. It's so, so cute, so bright. As you can see, I literally wanna cry at just how beautiful it is. It's so bright and spacious. We're both so grateful to be here. I've definitely learned how important natural light is for me, like, and just my mental space. I feel like this past month has just been Kind of a rough one, honestly, for me, so, and for Leif as well. But I feel like this is a new little beginning. We'll be here for at least half a year. I think I mentioned that at the beginning of the video, but this is definitely our place for a little while. So we're getting comfortable. We just went to our storage unit to um, get some more boxes and we're gonna unpack 
some stuff because the place is furnished, but they don't have a lot of like uh, pots and pans, blenders, stuff like that. And so I'll explain everything in like the next vlog because it will be like a more official moving vlog. I've been taking some clips and stuff. So I'll show you guys all that. And we're gonna switch a few things up about the place, but um, for the most part, it is like I said, furnished. And so it's already ready for us. My big strong mover. <laughs> been going up and down stairs for a while so he's getting tired um but yeah i just wanted to end the vlog and so it came to some sort of resolution i was like oh my gosh i didn't like take a an ending vlog clip or anything or like update you guys so this is the update this is our home for the next little bit sneak preview of the kitchen it's so pretty so bright i'm just so excited honestly i feel like you guys are gonna watch me evolve into my best self again that's how i feel like even just waking up here i got the best sleep here last night and like waking up I was just like, I'm so excited for this chapter. So yeah, there you have it. Um, next vlog will definitely be, like I said, the moving vlog. I'll give you guys a tour and everything. If you guys want to stay updated on all the moving stuff, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Last time I said, if you are someone who comes from Instagram and you aren't subscribed to my channel, just hit that little subscribe button. It's super easy and always forget to do this to other people and then I realize like, oh, if I watch their videos and I want to support them, I should subscribe. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe and you can even turn on post notifications, then you'll be the first to be notified when a new video comes out. My upload schedule right now has been a little bit irregular just because of the move, but normally I upload every Sunday. So stay tuned for some fun upcoming videos. I love you guys and I will see you.